3 and 120. Um, I just want to bring to y'all's attention and ask for help. I don't know what y'all are able to do, but I'm, uh, October will be four years of being assaulted and tortured with directed energy uh, radio frequency. I know this is not something y'all are used to talking about. Uh, basically, Sheriff Clark Millsap has been personally aware of it for uh, a couple years now, and he keeps telling me to take it to the federal level. He doesn't want to ever elevate it or call anybody for help. Um, the other thing is, about a year after these symptoms started, uh, I was told by a wealthy individual that I had borrowed money from that he hooked me up to V2K, which is voice to skull, uh, because I was late paying a loan back. Now the loan has been paid back, and there, there's no end in sight. Uh, they're still uh, harassing me basically on a daily basis. I've lost customers, I've lost my family, I've lost my, my pickup truck, I've lost my motorcycle, I've lost, uh, I've lost pretty much everything. And they continue to disassemble my life by on ongoing harassment. Basically what I'm saying is, is, like recently I went and made another report uh, at Bartow County Sheriff's Department. The deputy himself actually told me that it's not domestic terrorism because I'm the only one being targeted. And this is, uh, this is over three and a half years of sleep deprivation. Like I only get to sleep if they allow me to sleep. This is uh, over three and a half years of crazy town uh, having to listen to garbage all day because I'm being targeted with the technology. So I'm just, you know, basically wanted to make y'all aware of it and see if there's anything y'all can do to help because it, there really is no one in sight. And it's, it's difficult to listen to. Also, I told the Sheriff's Department over and over that I don't want anybody else to land in this situation because it's, it's basically a suicide weapon. It's basically the ability to automate human speech to talk you to your death. And uh, so I'm just basically trying to bring awareness uh, to y'all and basically just ask if there's anything y'all can do. I don't know if you can talk to the sheriff, ask him why he refuses to, uh, to elevate it to anybody. I mean, uh, well, uh, I'm going to hold you up right there. One of them, again, you're welcome to speak. One of the things we, we, I'd like to limit this to is if you're going to address us and ask us for help, we'd like to not do that at the expense of somebody else's name sure. or to, to make claims like that. So sure. I, I hope you understand and can appreciate that. But um, Mr. Lovell, do you have a yeah, question? Um, uh, sir, I, I understand your situation, but if I, if my memory is correct, the property you named is located in Bartow County. It's not within the city of Cartersville city limits. Is that yes, correct? sir. I was at uh, Jones Mill Road for five years, yes, over two years of the torture. I've uh, been in dialogue with Cartersville Police a few times. They 1013 me once uh, in October. Right. But, uh, um, so the remedies that you have, unfortunately, this is the mayor and city council of the city of Cartersville. Our jurisdictions really end at the city limits. Okay. We can't go beyond that. Okay. Um, since you are a county resident, you would, I think you have several options available to you. One, of course, is as you've been trying to avail yourself of the uh, sheriff's office, and that hasn't been working out for you. Right. Um, I would suggest you may want to contact the county commissioner's office. I've spoken um, with Steve Taylor. You also can contact your state representatives if you have or have not, because there are certain things that they can do. Um, you can also contact your federal representative who can do things. And then lastly, if it is what you um, are claiming happens going on, you can contact the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and the FBI who could investigate these matters. What you're complaining of would be more under their jurisdiction than it is uh, is ours. I'm sorry you're having to go through this, though, sir. I appreciate it. That's what I was just trying to bring to your attention is that uh, the GBI told me that the sheriff would have to, to include to them, them first. And, and he refuses to, to do any of that. So, um, But, yeah, I appreciate you all hearing me out. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is there any business that needs to come for counsel this evening? Jace, I think you had something.